Without any further ado, I want to take us into the server because I think if you're anything like I am, the best way to make sense of something like this is to get in and start horsing around with it, right? We're on an Oracle Database 12C server that's using Linux as the host operating system. Now the good news here is that it doesn't matter a whit what your operating system is. We are going to execute the same code, and we can do that using PLSQL or, of course, Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C if you have an OMS up. And we don't need to know any operating system specific stuff, and that's really cool and convenient. Process works identically regardless of the host operating system. Now what I'm going to do is you can see I'm logged in as the sys user on my agent one box. I'm going to do a show parameter resource underscore manager just to verify do I have a plan active right now. You'll see blank for value here. So resource underscore manager plan is how you set what's called a top level plan for a server. And remember you can have only one active at a time. I could do alter system set if I wanted to set a resource plan manager plan. Of course, I can use the V$ dynamic performance views to get a list of plans. To that point, why don't I switch over to a SQL developer session? I have a bunch of code up here to show you what's up. Now, I happen to know that there is a built-in plan called default underscore plan that Oracle gives you. In fact, Oracle, you'll notice, gives you a whole bunch of defaults to start with in terms of resource manager plans and consumer groups, etc. And that can be nice. So on line two in this code, which I'll select, we can set the active plan for my P site SID just using an alter system set, which is what you would expect. Let me choose my sys session from my session list here and put that into effect. Another thing we can do, just running a simple query, we can figure out which consumer group the currently logged on session is assigned by selecting SID and resource consumer group from V$ session. Now you notice here that things can get complicated. This is listing all of our users and their associated resource consumer groups. You'll see all this Oracle background group. You see here we have SID19 assigned to other groups. We have some that are associated with SID group. What does this mean? Well, two things. One is that these are all built-in resource consumer groups. And number two, they're dynamically populated depending upon, well, a couple things. Sys group is the default group for the sys users. That makes sense, right? The Oracle background group are background sessions. We also have, let's see, other groups. That's the catch-all bucket. If somebody hasn't been caught by at least one other resource computer group based on whatever criteria, their Oracle name, their host name that they're coming from, their application, whatever, they fall into the other group's catch-all bucket. More on that shortly. I'm just giving you the high-level overview here. Now let's switch over to Cloud Control and I'll walk you through the resource manager interface there. 